Hi, in today's lesson, I'm going to review how to create a sales receipt. Now, many of you may be wondering what the difference is between a sales receipt and an invoice. An invoice are services that are either rendered or going to be rendered that you were billing the customer for, for them to pay you at a later period in time. A sales receipt is just basically a customer or a client paying you in full at the time service is rendered. So you don't have to create them a bill. Just as if you were going into your local store and you purchase, let's say, a t-shirt and they give you a receipt, you're paying in full for that t-shirt at the time of purchase so they do not have to bill you for it. So again, an invoice is for services that they're going to pay you later on down the line for, and a sales receipt is for payments received in full at the time of service or at the time they purchase the product. To create a sales receipt in QuickBooks, you're going to want to go into your customer center on your homepage, and you'll see that there's create sales receipts here. Again, yours may look a little bit different depending on the year of QuickBooks that you're using, um, but in the customer section, regardless of the year, you, you will see create sales receipts. You can also go into customers, and you can go into enter sales receipt here. We're going to want to create a sales receipt or select sales receipt from the home page. Okay, and then this window will come up. Again, depending on the version of QuickBooks and the year of QuickBooks you have, your window may not look exactly the same. You may not have this on the side or the credit card or payment options on this side. Um, but either way, this is what it would look like. So you're going to want to go ahead and select what, co what customer you want to create a sales receipt for. And if you have different templates for sales receipts, like you have a retail sales receipt or different departments whose sales receipts look different, select that template down here by selecting the down arrow and selecting that template. Okay, again, you're going to want to pick the customer, and if you classify your transactions, then the actual transaction itself, you're going to want to hit the class, class key, down arrow, pick which class code it is. Change your date to reflect the date of the sale. This should automatically populate. Your sales number should be the next one in order. Okay, if they're paying by check, you're going to want to put the check number. Um, and, and you want to select, again, the type of payment method. Again, it just completely depends on how you have your template set up. And then you're going to want to just create the items that they're purchasing from you. Okay. Whether or not it's tax or not tax, completely up to you and completely up to your state. You know, if you want to create a receipt with non-tax, just go ahead and select this with non-taxable sales. And if you want to select with taxable sales, go ahead and just click taxable sales or any other type of tax item that you may have in there, depending on your state and how you're going ahead and doing your accounting. Okay. If you want to do a customer message down here, you can, like, thank you for your business, we appreciate prompt payment, whatever the case is. And here you go. You have created a sales receipt. Now, you may want to put in a memo, like, let's say, picked up by Bob. So that way, you know, if anybody ever calls about that sales receipt or, hey, who picked up that order or who authorized that order, you could have a memo line that just basically says it was picked up by Bob, authorized by Katie, whatever it is. If you want to print preview it, you can. And this is what it would look like. We'll zoom in so you can see. Again, I mean, it may differ from what yours looks like because my template may not be as creative as yours because I am, in fact, using a sample file. Then you would just hit Save and Close. Now, the good thing about sales receipts is that it's not like an invoice. So, like with an invoice, you would bill out the customer, and then you have to receive the payment from the customer, and then you have to deposit that payment in QuickBooks. So there's three steps that go with creating an invoice. With a sales receipt, there's only two steps. You create the sales receipt, and then you go in and you record a deposit. 
because you've already taken the money. You're giving them a receipt. The receipt is after the exchange of money. And that's how you do a sales receipt. So basically you would just go in there and you would record your deposit and hit save and close or save and new. That's it. That's how you use and create sales receipts within QuickBooks. Thank you again for visiting my, my channel. Please subscribe so you can get all of our updates and all of our new videos. And if you have any questions, feel free to email us at demos at equalityfinancialservices.com and we'll be sure to go ahead and demonstrate something that maybe you're having an issue with or just you're inquiring about. Thank you again.